here at the uh, Canoe Lake access point. Dave's gone to get the truck, bring it down so we can offload the canoe and then take it back and park. And then we're off for the day. Got tarps because it's looking a little iffy, but possible rain this afternoon, but just fleeting, so we'll see how it goes. Getting ready. Getting ready, eh, Jakey? We're just day tripping. Day trippers. It's us. We like to go back to the comfort of our nice trailer for the evening for sleep. Taking a year off of uh, overnight backcountry camping this year. We're really enjoying our new trailer, but next year we'll probably get back into it again. Okay, so we're heading off to the left from the uh, New Lake Access Point. of the Oxton River here, off of Canoe Lake. It's one thing we love about day tripping. We really don't have a set destination. We're just kind of looking and exploring and trying to find some nice places just to, to rest and take in the scenery and just get some good paddling, good exercise. Bonita Lake is off to the left there. We're going to carry on down the river, staying to the right. Oh, that's a big sigh from Jakey.
find somewhere to stop and chill for a while. There's an island here, but I think, I think the other side of that island there's a roof. Here, okay. Yeah, it's looking a little ominous up there. So, it does, eh? Nice. All right. Let me go up here. This is an official backcountry site, but wow. We looked out here. Stay out the fire pit, puppy. Yeah. Some cottages over there. Bet this is probably the hangout place of the local cottagers because it is not a designated backcountry site here. But it looks like it's been well used. Lots of little trails. the way there. Looks like we have company. Here you go, puppy. Hello. It's a nice little spot. <laughs> This end of the island. Hey, these clouds are looking new. I know, that's what we're heading back. back to Canoe Lake. Approaching the end of Oxtongue River into 
Canoe Lake. What's that? Oh, yeah. Ah. Straight ahead there, that's where everybody heads out to go interior camping. Yep. seen any uh, storm activity. We're just about 10 minutes away from the access anyway, so we're just taking our sweet time and enjoying the last few minutes of this day. Look at all the red maples out there. It's starting. If the weather had been a bit more favorable, we would have uh, we would have explored a little further down into Tea Lake, but we didn't want to get caught. So. I'll tell you, all in all, it's been a great day. Great day. Cute little island we found. Anyway, this is the end of our journey for today. We still have a few more days left to go. I think we're gonna, the next few days are supposed to be rainy. But then perhaps Thursday, Friday, and Saturday should be nice. So maybe Cash Lake next time. We'll see. And a little spot just off the highway. This is Smoke Lake. Clouds are looking ominous. The next day. Our first rainy day, and it called for a nice crock pot of beef stew. Later in the afternoon, once the rain had settled down, we decided to try out one of the shorter, easy hikes just outside of Pog Lake on Highway 60. The Spruce Bog Boardwalk contains several boardwalk sections in this 1.5 kilometer loop trail that give you an excellent close-up look of two typical northern spruce bogs. When we got back to our trailer after the hike, the stew was ready and I whipped up some nice biscuits to go along with it. We're very fortunate to have an oven in our trailer and it works quite well as you can see. The next day, the weather was still not conducive to canoeing, at least not for us fair weather paddlers, so we took in another hike. Lookout Trail is a 2.1 kilometer loop trail that is fairly steep and rugged, but rewards the hiker with a magnificent view of several hundred square kilometers of Algonquin. As such, it is rated difficult and not for those with accessibility issues. We're at the top of the lookout trail. A little bit of misty rain happening up here. Honey, be careful. Make me nervous. I'm not quite sure what lake that is. After the lookout trail, 
We headed to the Algonquin Visitor Center and enjoyed some of the local animal exhibits. And we took in the beautiful vistas of the surrounding area from the observation deck. Because we were enjoying the hiking opportunities at Algonquin so much, we took in one last hike during our stay. Beaver Pond Trail is a two kilometer loop trail that provides excellent views of two beaver ponds and an introduction to Algonquin's fascinating beaver pond ecology. Thirsty complains that it's cold. Now he's complaining that it's hot. This trail is rated as moderate in terms of difficulty and accessibility and features beaver lodges, dams, and ponds. And lots of mushroom sightings along the way, one of the interesting advantages of hiking in the fall. to get up to 68 I think like two o'clock so the sun feels nice. Sheriff Pond. And we're just ooh, it's pretty shallow here, honey. Okay. We're just gonna scout this out. From what I hear, it's it's a pretty high yucky portage, so I think we're just gonna go check it out. And, Look at the lake and turn around and head back. That's not really a bad portage. This lake is really nothing but a lake with a great big island in it. So it almost looks like a little river going around the island. But not worth the heavy duty portage. There we, go. we decided to just hang out on this portage. Enjoy the view. 
of it's called Little, Little Island Book. Check out this. This is so cool. This reminds me of like a little canoe. There's vegetation growing. Jakey, say hi. Uh, looking for crumbs that might have fallen. Dog with a never, never ending hunger. Bye, Jakey. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, that's a nasty bog if you go in. <laughs> you are the man. Okay, it's my turn. I, I am not quite so... Uh, Yama hama. I am I'm not quite so confident. Please don't tip us. Get one foot in. I'll talk you into it. One foot in. No. Sit down. Sit. Butt sit. Butt in seats. Sit. Sit, woman. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Try it. <coughs> Hold on, I'm trying. I'm trying. Hold on. Oh, I got my sunglasses. Hold on. Let me get them over here. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Ready? One, two, three, go. We did it. Here's your map. Dead ahead. This is Tracy carrying everything after about a 100, 120 meter portage. How do you feel, honey? Okay. Nailed it. She nailed it. Good girl. Sit down, sit down right away. You always get in last, remember that. I am, sit down right away. She did it. I cut you go there for a while, but she did it. You got your map? I got the map. Okay, let's go. I guess leave. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, 
just pulled up on this little island on Lake of Two Rivers. And we're parked there and we're just scouting it out to look for a good spot to plant our butts for the afternoon on this last day of our Algonquin trip. Oh, this is very pretty. What? This is very pretty. I told you. Jakey, where's Daddy? Oh, where is he? Where are you? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Picnic Island. Great way to end our time here. It's Killarney Lodge there. Last carry of the year. Oh, careful. <laughs> <laughs>